What's the best picture profile for the Sony ZV-E10? Don't worry, it's not what you're looking at right now. You're about to click off, weren't you? You're like, I'm not taking advice from this guy. This looks terrible. This is the standard picture profile. We're gonna get into all the details on how to use this one. That's way better. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to get the desirable s cinetone look, a very cinematic look out of your Sony ZV-E10. I've tested this picture profile in a lot of different environments and really think that it holds up quite well. And it is absolutely my go-to picture profile for the Sony ZV-E10. And it looks fantastic straight out of camera. Okay, the very first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna locate our menu system here. We're gonna scroll over to the far left, the very first tab here, and scroll over to page number eight. Once we're here, we're gonna click on picture profile, and we're gonna, you can do any container here. I chose picture profile one, doesn't really matter. You're gonna go to the very bottom and you're gonna completely reset that picture profile. From there, we're changing a few things. I want you to go to gamma, you're gonna make that say cine two. You're gonna go all the way down here to color mode, make that say still. Saturation, we want plus five. And that is literally it. That's all we're gonna do here. I was really happy with how well this picture profile matched the actual s cinetone coming out of the a7 IV. I did do a little bit of color matching in post, but it wasn't a ton of work. These profiles were very similar. And yes, I still do tweak the colors in post. All I really do is I apply my Pike LUT. It looks like this. And you can check that out in the link below if you wanna get your videos to look like mine. And also let me know in the comments down below if you want me to do a further breakdown in detail in my editing software of how I color grade this S Cinetone look coming out of the ZV-E10. I have a lot more videos planned for this camera, so tap that subscribe button down below if you'd like to see those. A quick shout out and thank you to Abraham for suggesting that I make this video. This one's for you. Hopefully I uh, pronounce your name right. My last name is DeWispelair, so I'm sure you messed it up. In case I got it wrong, I'm sure you've messed that one up, so I guess I got some good credit. Anyways, the rest of you, if you like this video, then you're gonna absolutely love this one of where I go a little bit deeper in the ZV-E10 and test out some footage of which I was absolutely shocked. Take care. See ya.